Good morning, good morning. I will bless the Lord at all times. God's praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord that I will hear and be glad thereof. Go oh, magnify the Lord with me.
on in Calvary. Sometimes we have to be divine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is the touch of Yeah, yeah. We pray for you. Thank you. Dear Lord, we just thank you. Thank you. We thank you for being our center. Yes, sir. Yes, we thank you for being the one who guides us. Yeah. In our flesh, sometimes we yeah. stop and we get bogged down in the things of the world. And cares of the world. But thank you thank for reminding us and bringing us back to ourselves. Bringing us back to the day that we decided to follow your news. Oh my God, my God. We ask forgiveness for any sins that we may have committed. Those willingly and those unknown. Lord God, we're calling you this morning just praising you. For the joy that you bring, for the peace that you bring, we ask you to send that joy and that peace to those who are in grief, to those who are troubled in mind, to those who don't know where they miss the dollar will come from. Give them that peace because. And, and help them to remember that you guide us, you have us, and you will take care of us. Yes, Lord. We thank you. Thank you. We thank you for choosing us as your people, Lord God. And we strive every day to be worthy of that choice. We are your children, oh Lord.
New Testament, a reading from the New Revised Standard Version of God's Word. Your version may read a bit differently, but we are depending on the Holy Spirit of God to help us arrive at the same point of understanding in Jesus' name. Amen. A disciple is not above the teacher, nor a slave above the master. It is enough for the disciple to be like the teacher and the slave like the master. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebul, how much more will they malign those of his household? So have no fear of it, for nothing that will not be uncovered and nothing secret that will not become known. What I say to you in the dark, tell in the light and what you hear whispered, proclaim from the housetops. Do not fear those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather, fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father. And even the hairs on your head are all counted. So do not be afraid. You are of more value than many sparrows. Everyone, therefore, who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my Father in heaven. But whoever denies me before others, I also will deny before my Father in heaven. Do not think that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I have not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, and a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And one's foes will be members of one's own household. Whoever loves father more than me is not worthy. Whoever loves son more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take up the cross and not worthy. Those who find their life will lose it. And those who lose their life for my sake will find it. This is sobering and heart the word of God for the people of God. Let us say thanks be to God. Let us remain standing for a moment of prayer. Lord Jesus, for bringing us to this space entrance. We thank you, God, for the many who have tuned in from around the corner and around the world. We thank you and we praise you for this assembly of saints and seekers of your will and your way. Give your word life in this place. Touch, heal, deliver, save, transform. Change somebody's mind. Turn somebody do it for you, Lord. We love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. You may be seated in the Lord's presence. Evangelist Shante will now come and prepare our hearts.
gives us. For these hymns and spiritual songs. Because when they were originally composed, many of them, they didn't have much play. They had words. And the words had substance. But it took the daughters and sons of Africa to make the words come to life and give them savor and play. If Jesus goes with me, I'll go. Anyway, put your hands
See, what, what, what you need to understand is uh, good music for good preaching. Yeah. 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 So, so the runway has been cleared. And the gospel now can be preached. If somebody ought to put their hand together and thank God to the Lord for God. Now, I'm like you, I struggle with Jesus sometimes. And, and this passage is one that will cause us to struggle. Typically, pedestrian readers of the Bible. Don't read chapter 10 of Matthew's gospel. What kind of Jesus doesn't come to bring you? And her family members against each other. Yeah. See, see, that's the service of reading of the text. So when we get to this, we just say, well, uh, somebody else must have written that. I don't think that that's what he was meant. I don't think that that's what he said. So I'm just going to leave that alone. And I'm going to find something that will just comfort me. Something that will fit my idea of who Jesus is. But the same Jesus who is a meek and humble lamb is the same Jesus that walked into the temple and turned over all the tables. And braided a cord and went all the money changes out of the temple. That's the same Jesus. The same Jesus that cursed the fig tree because it should have been bearing fruit and it wasn't. So since it wasn't productive, Jesus terminated his life. Come on. Come on. That's the same Jesus. Bring that thing home. So, I mean, just like you and I uh, have different aspects of personality, you know, most of us, uh, when we come to church, uh, we have on our church face. Yes, sir. Yeah, put on the church face. Come on, man. I got that right. But don't follow us on. Go to your own 
keep in mind that the gospel is a writing after the resurrection. So it is a word in time, but it's a word also for our time. It's an all time word. So the gospel starts off, and it starts off within the confines of a Palestinian Jewish community. A conservative one at that. Wow. That is not evangelical. And I really want to preach a sermon on evangelicalism because most of us don't understand it. And the word has been hijacked by folks who have confused evangelicalism with nationalism. And Christ ain't in that. But there were people that received Jesus that didn't want to share Jesus. I hope that that's not our situation today. Yeah, I'm just putting that out there. Because you know that some of us struggle with that. You know, we don't mind being the only person on our team. But if it starts filling up with folks that we don't know, we kind of get concerned. But at the same time, we want the church to grow. And at the same time, we don't bring anybody with us to help the church. And then when other folks start coming in, we get suspicious of them. What kind of mess is this? But Jesus dealt with all of that. And Jesus says, now listen. Go to your own first. And understand that since uh, the critics call me the devil, they're going to call you the devil too. Because everybody is not glad to receive the devil. There are people that love misery. And misery loves company. So when you come in acting like Susie Sunshine, they don't like that. Yeah, they don't like you saying good morning. They, they don't like you saying praise the Lord. They don't like to smile. They'll tell you what's so good about it. And then they go through a whole litany of aches and pains and grievances and grudges. Attempting to pour water on your spirit. Because you can't make anybody rain on your brain.
Nobody and nothing stays the same. And this is what Jesus is conveying. When you come in with a new attitude, a newness of life, a uh, spirit, uh, you're going to get pushback. But that doesn't mean that you go back. Amen. And uh, you may not get uh, a lot of takers initially. They may not come your way. But do like my grandmother used to tell me. When my grandmother ran into a tough situation, or one of us hard head greater they wouldn't listen, you know what she would say? I'm going to put you in God's hands. After you give the good news, after you give the good word, and you have to reject it, just put it in God's hands. God will take care of you. Jesus, these are a collection of sayings. Uh, they're not necessarily continuous, they, they don't follow a pattern. Uh, at some point, uh, one of the authors just decided to uh, assemble a group of sayings that they thought uh, he or she thought would be appropriate for this particular passage. But Jesus said, listen, you've got to put God above every priority. Even your man. Now, I know that we don't want to hear that. But where did our families come from? Spiritual people. Uh, they, they, they didn't come out of a robber's nest. <laughs> Little bunny rabbit or short didn't just deliver them. They came from God. Your most important relationships uh, come from God. And as much as you love the beloved, you and I must understand that they are gifts from God and they are gifts that have a shelf life. Because all of us came from God and ultimately we've got to go back from where we came. So if we understand priority, we always have to confess God first. And this is what Jesus was attempting to tell the people who were quagmired in family dynamics that caused them to put more value on their families, whether their families were good or bad. Because you know, uh, there are folks uh, that want to pretend that they don't have any problems in their families. So, uh, Everybody graduated from Harvard, Yale, or Princeton. Morehouse is stuck. Everybody has succeeded. Nobody has had any problems with uh, chemicals or substances. Everybody has great credit. Everybody's living in a split level mansion. That is Facebook fantasy. God wants us to deal with reality that, that we have to help. Uh, we, we've, got, we've got to make every effort uh, to help our folks make it. And I know that there's silence, but it's okay. That's our responsibility. Yeah. Yeah. To get the word out to everybody. Whether they accept it or receive it, if you plant the seed, it may not germinate in your lifetime. But if you just plant the seed, yeah. see, some of us are sitting up in here because we are the answer to our ancestors' prayers. Yeah. 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 Have you ever thought about that? Yeah. Yeah. So Jesus said, get the priority straight. Put God first in and then Jesus said, don't deny me. I'll never forget, and I'm about to bring this to a close. I'll never forget, I went on watch night uh, with my mother uh, to the Church of God of Christ in our neighborhood. And we were Baptists, but my mother was always at the medical. My mother, if she saw an open door uh, of a church, she didn't mind going in. She celebrated the goodness of God and that uh, when I was younger, but uh, I thank God for it now. Yeah, yeah. So 
we couldn't get to our watch night worship. So we went around the corner. And I mean, the coaching folks were just carrying on. They were leading tambourines, praising God, speaking in tongues. And, and it, was, it was a sight to be old. And uh, then they had a testimony service. And everybody in the building had something to say about the goodness of God. And I sat there. I sat there in protest. I, I sat there because I didn't want to be there in the first place. And uh, I just refused to say anything. I didn't say anything. And even when they showed the mic in my face, I still didn't say anything. My mother was just as cool as she could be. You know, she didn't lecture me, she didn't embarrass me publicly. But as we were walking home, she said, You know, Lawrence, she said, You have got to learn to own your pain. She said, What if God didn't own me? What if God didn't love you? She said, has God done something for you? And I just started rapping. I just started talking about all the wonderful things we got. She said, that's what you should have said in church. <laughs> Will you 
give God glory? Yeah. No matter what? Yeah. Will you remain optimistic? Yeah. In spite of all of the negativity? The good news is God will give us the faith we need for these spiritual times. Anybody glad about that? Yeah. We got it. We got the victory. It's somebody. God. Thank you, Lord. Every day, God, every day, I bless God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for things that look so good. We thank you, God, that we don't have to be afraid. Even when we are unpopular, we don't have to be afraid. As long as we're rooted and grounded in you and not in our own fantasies, we don't have to be afraid. You promised even to give us words and a wit and a wisdom. We thank you and we praise you. God, we thank you for healing. We thank you for victory. We thank you for overcoming. We ask you right now, in the name of Jesus, to especially touch a few people. We ask you, God, uh, to touch Brother William Wolf's name, please, God. Brother Mizell Ritchie, please, God. Dorothy Hopkins, please, God. There may be many others. We can call their names right now. Call their names out loud. Type their names on the screen. We cover everybody in prayer right now. We ask you in the name of Jesus, God, to bring victory into this world. We know that you ultimately want to bring peace, but we know that you've got to disrupt this prevailing order. So that the peace of God may come into the earth. So do your work in a happy way. And if there's something that you want us to do, may we do it. May we not hesitate. May we not procrastinate. May we do it. In the wonderful Jesus, we love you, we praise you, we bless you. And if there's someone in this room, if there's someone on our social media platforms who has decided to make Jesus their choice, or maybe they already have a Christian experience and they just want to be a part of this movement, call Calvary. When we stand, when we offer Christ and open the door of the church, may they come forward. And if they're virtually worshiping, may they go to our Facebook page. Follow the prompts. We'll be happy to sign them up for the Christian Jubilee. We thank you and we praise you. We love you and we bless your name. It is in your name, Jesus, we pray. And we say amen. Praise God and thank God. You don't mind start the song from the beginning. Let us stand as we offer Christ in this place. If you are here, you don't have a church family or a church home. You desire membership in this place. Please come.
this morning. And she woke us up, guided us along the way so that we could come and worship you in community. Lord God, you asked only 10%, but you have given everything for us, including sending your son, Jesus, to save us from ourselves. Lord God, we thank you for all those who participated in their tithes and their offerings and offering ourselves in time and stewardship to you. Lord God, we continue to lift you up. We continue to guide our brothers and sisters along in our faith so their faith may be strong as well. We thank you, God, for this day and for every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us stand. Let us sing. Thank you.
Send us from this place, never from your presence. Thank you, God, for the faith that confronts every fear we face. Faith is the victory. And we praise you for giving us the victory through Jesus Christ. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise God. Go in peace.